Hello, in this video we are going to see how in cinemas uh, using its automatic band structure module we can calculate band structure for a single structure file or a set of multiple structure files uh, with minimum user intervention. Cinemas can interpret structure from, uh, from files uh, with several formats, uh, maybe a, a, a POSCA format or a CI format or a quantum espresso format or an XSF format. And in this tutorial, we are going to perform band structure calculation automatically using the WASP code. Now, in order to use the band structure module uh, in cinemas, there are two prerequisites. The first prerequisite is that uh, potential files uh, which for the WASP code are podcasts should be already configured within cinemas, uh, cinemas application and you can refer to a separate tutorial on uh, how to configure potential files uh, within cinemas which is available on cinemas YouTube channel. And the second prerequisite is that there should be at least uh, one valid connection established uh, within cinemas application. To use the band structure module in cinemas, uh, we have to create a project. Uh, we have to create a cinemas project. So let's go to the file menu. Uh, let's click on create project and at a convenient uh, location, you can create a project. So I'm going to create a project which says uh, band test tutorial. So uh, cinemas uh, automatic band structure module can be invoked by going to the right side of the toolbar and by clicking on the icon that says band. Now once you click this icon, Cinemas asks you uh, to choose from two options. The first one is either to create an empty workflow where the input files will be prepared automatically, but execution on the remote server and the post processing has to be performed manually. And the other option is by starting with a single structure file or a set of multiple structure files. So we can start by giving a name to this band structure workflow. Let me call it band. Uh, silicon where I'm going to use a primitive cell of silicon. So the moment I click OK, uh, Cinemas is prompting me to load my structure file. I'm going to load a silicon primitive cell in WASP format. Once the structure file is loaded, Cinemas gives you two modes of setting. The one is default settings, other one is user settings. Now in the default settings, Cinemas has prepared a minimum but sufficient uh, settings to carry out the band structure calculation automatically. While in the user settings, uh, you can make more choices up to your likings, uh, whichever you would like. Uh, in the default settings, all these fields are disabled and you cannot change anything. Now, please remember that in the default settings, your calculation is submitted to a connection which you have marked uh, as default in the connection workspace. Uh, uh, in the connection workspace. Now how to set up connections and how to mark it as a default connection you can refer to uh, separate tutorials available on Cinema's YouTube channel. Now since it's showing LDA uh, in the default settings just for the sake of this tutorial let me go to the user settings and let me choose PBE and the moment I click OK Cinema's is Copying, Cinemas has already prepared the input files in the backend and now it's copying the files to the remote server and it has submitted the calculation on the remote server. Now you can double click and expand the relaxation workflow and you can see that the, uh, the state of this workflow has been changed to running. You can also check the progress in the queue workspace where it is showing you the name of the workflow. You can refresh the state and if you like you can kill the job uh, by using this button. Now please remember that the Cinema's uh, automatic band structure module prepares the workflow in two steps. Uh, whatever structure you are loading into this module, uh, it will uh, prepare a relaxation workflow and from there it will uh, prepare band structure workflow and it will execute the entire sequence automatically on the remote server. Now let's wait for this calculation to get over. Alright, so the calculation is over and you can see that the job state has been changed to completed. And Cinemas has downloaded all the files automatically to your local machine on which you are using Cinemas application. And within few moments, uh, in the backend, the band structure input files will be prepared. And now Cinemas is just going to submit your band structure calculation. And it has started. Now it is connecting to the server, it is copying the files, and it has submitted the calculation again on the remote server. And you can see that now the job, uh, now the state for this band structure workflow has been changed to running. You can verify the same by going to the queue workspace and 
you can check the progress. Now meanwhile this band structure calculation is running. Let us have a quick look at the snapshot of this relaxation calculation which has been just over. Uh, on the right side this graph shows you the total energies with respect to each iteration. This is the summary of uh, the calculation filtered out uh, from the output files by cinemas for you and preamble is nothing but uh, just some parameters uh, of your input files with which you started the which, with which cinemas started uh, the calculation. Now let us wait for this band, band structure calculation to get over. Alright. So you can see that now the job state uh, for this band structure workflow is changed to completed and Cinemas has downloaded all the files quickly from the remote server to your local machine. Now similar to the relaxation workflow, let us have a look at the snapshot of this calculation. Once you click on the snapshot on the right side, it gives you a quick view of your band structure and by the first look of it, it looks uh, reasonable. Again. Uh, this is the summary filtered out by cinemas from the output files. Now if you are further interested into making uh, better plots of uh, band structure, what you can do is you can go to the analysis workspace uh, by clicking this icon. You can go to the band structure and then you can choose uh, this particular workflow. You can see band silicon bulk vast 3. You can choose this thing. Uh, you can choose this name from here. And you can see that it displays some information about this system. Now you can make some choices whether you would like your band structure to be scaled with respect to the Fermi level. Yes, you can make one selection. If you want no, you can make one more selection. And both the selection with just one click, you can export it to Cinema's plot. Now you see that on the left side you see table and on the right side you see a corresponding graph. Now the table one is your data of uh, your band structure data with uh, scaling to Fermi level while table two is without scaling. Graph one is uh, uh, band structure with scaling and graph two is without. Now if you like you can go to uh, uh, different fields of uh, these graphs and you can change them up to your liking. So let me just add silicon. primitive cell. Also you can see that Cinemas has automatically labeled all the high symmetry points for this band structure calculation. And if you like you can change properties of uh, any of these graphs. You can, uh, you can apply several uh, settings. You can change the graph properties. You can change axis properties. Uh, left axis, right axis, bottom axis, upper axis. And you can apply several settings. You can change the line properties and uh, several other properties. You can even go to the curves and you can uh, individually change the, you can select the curves individually or you can select all. You can apply the line style, uh, line uh, thickness or the line type and several other properties you can apply on these graphs. Even if you like, you can uh, readjust the the size of uh, your graph up to your likings. Now coming back to the cascade, if you like uh, at any step uh, you can go to the visualizer, you can have a look at your structure, uh, you can change several properties. Uh, let's just change the color of the atoms. Maybe we can apply some anti-aliasing, some better shading so that our display looks smoother. Okay, so just now I explained you how you can automatically calculate band structure from a single structure file. However, uh, you can repeat the same exercise this time by uh, by loading multiple structure files. So I am giving this time uh, the name as multiple workflows. When I click OK, it is going to ask me to load the structure files. This time I am going to load three structure files, let us say. And again, it will 
ask me to select the mode whether the default mode or the or the user mode and for each loaded file it's going to ask you uh, to choose a mode whether the default mode or the user mode you can click ok for gallium nitride then you can click ok for uh, NACL then you can click ok for silicon and this time Cinemas is going to submit three calculations for you all together however I am just going to uh, cancel them you can also cancel by clicking uh, that submission uh, GUI I couldn't cancel uh, before it got submitted so now let me cancel it from this side all right so let me tell you about a few more features which are available uh, with these workflows in cinemas now you can see that uh, on the top side the workflow which says bend silicon is an is a completed uh, workflow which has been executed on the remote server and the files have been downloaded back to the local machine while uh, the bottom one which says multiple workflows uh, this is a workflow which wasn't executed because if you remember uh, earlier I just cancelled the execution so now the first one is if you double click here you cannot rename this workflow However, if you double click here, you can type anything and you can give it another name. Uh, now, Cinemas does this so that uh, a user doesn't mistakenly uh, renames a workflow while it is in the execution state. So, uh, since uh, this workflow has no state, no active state, so this can be renamed. Even these individually, these uh, workflows can be uh, uh, renamed however you cannot rename these uh, workflows because this workflow is having an active state what you have to do is you have to click on uh, the submission icon and then you have to click on the button resubmit which just clears any active state if a workflow has now let's assume uh, that you have uh, a lot of workflows on your screen and your screen is populated what you can also do is you can keep these workflows minimized uh, even these uh, jobs uh, can be kept minimized so that your screen has more space so let me also tell you that all these workflows uh, when you have multiple uh, band structure calculations inside a module or you have a single uh, band structure calculation inside a module all of these calculations can once again or from the scratch itself uh, be submitted manually for example you can click here and you can uh, submit all these calculations all together so this is gonna submit three calculations together uh, relax gallium nitride relax NACL and relax uh, silicon bulk or you can individually uh, submit these calculations also now also by right clicking and using the context menu you can open this entire module uh, in a, as a folder uh, using your preferred fi file explorer or you can also individually open these workflows by right click and also by selecting the job and pressing control enter. You can also uh, delete. Uh, these workflows and you can press ctrl z and uh, you can undo it also all right so now we have a completed band structure calculation where we plotted uh, the band structure automatically and also uh, we could visualize the structure now let's assume a case where uh, we need to prepare a figure maybe for a presentation for a publication or something similar now, what you can do is just by a single click you can export the graphics which you see on the screen to cinemas draw which is the draw uh, which is a drawing component of cinemas uh, platform and you can see that now uh, now the graphics has been exported to cinemas draw you can again go back to the plotter and now what i'm going to do is i'm going to again with one click you can just load this to cinemas draw now what i'm going to do is i'm going to prepare a figure by combining these two uh, images so this looks big let's just crop a part of it i'm going to make a rubber band selection and then i can just go to crop and i will just 
copy this image from here and then I'm going to paste it. I'm going to paste it here and let me just reposition it. Please uh, note that uh, Cinema's Draw is, a, is, is an object based uh, drawing application, uh, something similar to PowerPoint. It's not like MS Paint where you can, uh, once you draw, you cannot move or reposition your uh, drawings. However, in Cinema's, you can do that. Now, let me just reposition, uh, let me reposition these things a little bit, uh, these two images. Let's just give it a border by making, by drawing a rectangle. Now you can see that this rectangle has come on top of this. Now Cinema's Draw also gives you uh, uh, depth control. What you can do is right click and you can ask it to go to back. And now this has gone in the, now it has gone in the back side. Maybe something like this. You can add some text to it and we can write a bend structure of silicon using primitive cell. We can apply some more settings. Uh, we can uh, increase the text size if you like. Well, we can increase a little bit more. Some, you, if you like, you can apply shadow and let's just smoothen the shadow a little bit. Let's make the text box corners a little round and we can reposition it. Well, if you like, you can select this uh, rectangle and we can smoothen the corners a little bit for this as well. Let's close the style, op uh, style options and let's reposition the canvas. All right, so you can see that how quickly you can prepare the figures also within Cinemas itself. Now, once your figures uh, are prepared in Cinemas Draw, what you can do is you can export them to several file formats. Now, Cinemas provides you uh, two formats, PNG and JPG for raster images and three formats PDF, PS and EPS for uh, vector images. And for PNG of a, or a JPG format, if you try to save the graphics uh, uh, with any name, it will also ask you a scaling factor. So all the raster images you can scale up to uh, 30 times in cinemas before you save, save uh, them to a file. So in this tutorial, I have explained you how using automatic band structure module in cinemas, you can uh, calculate band structure just by browsing uh, a single structure file or multiple structure files with minimum user intervention. And I also explained you how quickly you can also uh, prepare figures in cinemas uh, using its drawing component cinemas draw. This is all I have for this tutorial. Thank you very much for your attention.